Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Castle Full of Black uh, Blackbirds, number one, from Dark Horse. This is from the world of Hellboy, uh, so uh, I really wanted to check it out. Really cool cover, which I like. The cover is one of the things that mainly drew me to try to check this out. Uh, although I like Hellboy, I'm not super familiar with everything, but let's check out the creative team before we get into the rest of the book. Uh, so this book is uh, got a story by Mike Mignola and Angela Slatter, uh, with art by Valeria Borso, colors by Michelle Madsen, and letters by Clem Robbins. Um, and as I mentioned, this is in the world of Hellbook, uh, uh, in the world of Hellboy. Uh, so this issue, uh, Castle Full of Blackbirds, continues the story of Sarah Mae Blackburn, the fan favorite character from Hellboy and the BPRD, uh, the return of Effie Cobb. Uh, when Sarah May headed for New York after the events of the return of Effie Cobb. So that's a previous story, which I actually hadn't read, but I think this book does enough where you don't need to read that. Like it gives you enough. Uh, and I can see why uh, Sarah May was a fan favorite as, after reading this book. Uh, so in this issue, um, she had one goal, uh, Sarah May had one goal in mind, find the mysterious Miss Brooks at the Linton School for Girls and ask her what she knows about the mysterious powers that have plagued Sarah May her whole life. But as often is the case in with these things, the answers are not as simple as that. Sarah May is in for an education in more than just reading, writing, and arithmetic at the Linton School. Uh, so, yeah, uh, like I said, this book definitely sets enough uh, stuff up where you can, where you learn a little bit about Sarah May and what she's been through, even if you didn't read the whole uh, previous event. Uh, so let's pull out some preview art here. Uh, here we see Sarah May getting a ride from a trucker, probably not the safest thing to do, uh, <laughs> but here she goes. Uh, and we see a little bit of flashback. Of course, you got to throw a little Hellboy in the book because you want to make sure to pay off some, for the, especially for the readers that have been reading for a long time, you want to make sure to pay that off. Uh, but then also you want to bring in the new readers here. So that's where we have this little bit of backstory, this little dialogue uh, catching you up on the story. Uh, I think I love the art. I think it, it, and it, it gets a lot more darker and somber in tone and, and more magical and fantastical uh, after a little bit. This is obviously the outside of the residence where we're looking. Um, so I like here though, just the big hair flowing, the long, the trees all over the place. It, it gives you a bit of a sense of uh especially with the panels being so uh, horizontal and, and just not as very wide, uh, a little bit of a, an enclosed world, maybe something, maybe something's being hidden at, right out of sight, which happens to be the case. Cause if we see, if we saw the outside of that school, it doesn't look like a school, but then as you come in uh, here, we have like this full magical place, right? Um, another thing that I really love in comics is just tropes about, uh, you know, Mag or like schools for these powered individuals. I'm a big fan of the X-Men. I'm a big fan of Strange Academy. Uh, and all those deal with, uh, you know, uh, kids that are trying to learn their, learn about their powers in a school. And, and this has a very similar setup as far as that. Uh, obviously, this is different because it's in the world of Hellboy. So there's definitely more magic and, and things like that involved. Uh, but, but I definitely like that. So the book really uh, feels like a really it's going to be a really fun story to follow this character uh, and just learn more about her and her power. So so the cool thing is that she doesn't know and then the reader doesn't know. So um, it kind of makes you sympathize with her and like to, you know, trying to find out the same thing. Um, so it was really cool. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I think if you are a longtime Hellboy reader, you probably already picked this up. Uh, and if you're not, uh, maybe this is a fun way to dip in. To the Hellboy world to see if it's something you'd like to uh, you like to check out. Uh, so yeah, uh, the imagery gets a lot more darker and like really more fantastical too as you go on. As you can see from there, uh, we didn't even dip our toes, but I only want I don't want to show too much. Um, so uh, as always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned because we have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps. All that fun stuff here in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.